Good evening. Hello, how are you? Fine. Nice to see you again. Yes. Good night. Hello. How are you, teacher? Nice. Okay. What do you mean?
Hello. I want to be sure that all of you can hear me very well. Hi, good evening. Hello. Hi. Blanca Elizabeth, how are Hi, you? Hi, good. good evening. Nice to see you again. Nice. A long time, long, long time now see you, okay? Okay. okay, let me see how many people do we have, uh, 14. I did okay. chair, good evening. Hey, hello, how are you, Eduardo? Okay, in order to start, let me introduce myself. I'm going to share with you some information about me in order that we can know each other. I don't know if you can see the slides that I have. Okay, that is my information. There you can see my name. My name is Jose Maximiliano Lasso de Leon, but you can call me Max. It's my nickname. And it my ahí, teacher. Hello? Teacher. Que si pote se ve ahí, le digo. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello. Good evening. Do again. Hey, uh, esa foto fue es de este año. Lo único que andaba ahí este, con el mustache. Ok, ahí está parte de la información eh, académica de este servidor y una parte también de la experiencia laboral que he tenido durante mi carrera. Así es que espero servirles en lo que más se pueda. El objetivo principal es eso, ser un guía, un facilitador. Y pues... Ahí estamos listos para lo que nos toque. That is all my part of my background knowledge and my academics. Hello, somebody is calling mine. Usted va a estar con nosotros otra vez. Yeah, I'm going to be a facilitator. Welcome to the class again. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, uh, well, I've been working as a tutor in La Universidad de Salvador. I also have worked in the Universidad Gerardo Barrios. And I've been working with uh, an American company. And I used to be the office manager in a RDI International company. And now I'm teaching. Okay, uh, we have the requirements. Uh, recuerden que deben de poner su nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de los oyentes, van a agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiental lo más posible, por favor. Y lo más importante, tener una participación activa. Ok. En uh, la asistencia al 100% de las clases, la asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también al cumplir con la clase completa. Se va a tomar asistencia tres veces. En este momento, luego de que haga la introducción, la presentación, voy a hacer la primera toma de asistencia. Y eh, se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente o present y tener la cámara encendida. Asimismo, uh, habrán sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Cada participante se ha asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Y ahí hay algo muy importante que dice permisos no disponibles. Es decir, hoy sí vamos a ser un poco más rigurosos en el sentido que eh, debemos de cumplir cuando nos corresponda. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de las tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. 
Todas las tareas, los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a INSAFOR semanalmente. La fecha límite para terminar el examen medio, o sea, el midterm, será el viernes 16 de julio, antes de la medianoche. La fecha límite para terminar el examen final, o the final exam, será el viernes 30 de julio, antes de la medianoche. Si el manual puede ser descargado a la plataforma, no se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Ok. Eh, en la plataforma, por favor, tenemos que saber el control del botón de silencio o mute, de la cámara, del chat, cuando sea un breakout room o el ask for help. En esto del breakout room es muy importante explicarles que cuando se les asigne inmediatamente pues tiene usted que hacerlo y creo que esa es una información uh, general information about the course I plan in Spanish because um, I consider that we need to be really clear about it uh, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here just let me know if you have any questions no questions no questions no, that's my question, teacher. Thank you. Okay. In order to start, I would like to hear your voice. Uh, you are going to introduce each other. You are going to tell me some information that you consider that uh, you can share with the class. Okay. I'm going to listen one by one. All of you are going to have the opportunity to, to do it. Maybe at the beginning, uh, this is the first class, uh, some of you are going to have some kind of trouble to understand the way that I speak, but all the pen of you, if you tell me that I speak slowly, I'm going to do it. Si usted considera que estoy hablando un poco rápido, just let me know, because the most important thing here is that you understand what I'm going to explain you and tell you. So please, if you want to introduce yourself, you can start with now. And at the same time, if you want to add the expectation that you have about this model, you can add it to uh, the moment that you are going to introduce yourself. Okay. Welcome back to all of you. It's a pleasure for me to be here with you. And let us do it now, please. Okay. No me digan que no me entendieron qué es lo que dije. In Spanish or English? <laughs> yeah, it has to be in English, please. Yeah, we, we, we are going to avoid uh, to speak Spanish because this is the this is a level four that means that all of you need to produce sounds in English, please. Okay, I try. Mitchell. Okay, good. Hello, everything. My name is Maria Elena Guadalupe Peña Tejoa. Um, Espero eh, mejorar mi vocabulario. Speak more fluid. Um, no, everything. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Somebody else, please. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Before you continue. Les voy a dar ventaja de, de un par de minutos en lo que paso la lista. Y así uh, tienen la ventaja de poder armar ahí lo que van a decir. Ok. Hold on, hold on a second. Wait for me a second, please. I got it, I got it here. Door is parking. Okay, Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. Present. Okay, thank you. 
Eh, Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Present. Alfredo. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Cristian Ernesto. Present teacher. Welcome. Claudio Iván Méndez. Present teacher. Present. Ok, Denise Grisel Isuela. Denise Grisel Grisuela Valdez. No here? Presente. Ah, ok. Welcome. Is the right way how you pronounce your name? Is Denise or is Dennis? Okay, we're gonna do it later. Edwin Balmore. Present teacher. You're welcome. Uh, Elmer Ubaldo. Present teacher. Okay. Ember Giovanni. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Gonzalo. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Alfonso Martínez. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Luis Manuel Muñoz. Present teacher. María Elena. I'm here. Okay, welcome. Nelson. Cabarrete Merino. Nelson. Omar Francisco. Present. Okay, welcome, sir. Eh, Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Walter Aramis. Present, teacher. Eh, Jenny Suleima. Jenny. It's not here. Ana Judith Portillo. Ana Judith. Carlos Javier. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Jose Eduardo Guzmán. I have teacher. Okay. Pleasure. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos Rivas. Not here. Carla Marisol Escobar. Carla. Okay, it's not here. So. Okay, as I told you before, uh, before to start with the topic, I need that all of you are going to introduce yourself, even uh, though that some faces, I remember some faces, I haven't seen some students in another groups, but you're going to introduce yourself too, because I want to listen to all of you. And then we are going to start with the topic, okay? Okay, thank you to Maria Elena, uh, she did. Okay, somebody else, please. Hello. Ok, lo que necesito es una presentación corta de ustedes, su nombre, toda la información que ustedes consideren pertinente que pueden compartir. Ok. Eh, good evening. Uh, my name is Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzmán. I work at McCormick. I go to learn more about the vocabulary. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else, please. Carlos Javier. Hello, my name is Javier Crespin. Nice to meet you. And to work in McCormick. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Somebody else, please. 
BTJ. Yes. Omar Francisco. Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Omar Hernandez. Uh, I work in Casco Safety de El Salvador. Okay, what else? Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Me teacher. Hello. Okay. My name, my name is Francisca Elizabeth. I am a secretary. I work in university. I have learned more in this class. Okay. So Maria, please. Me teacher. Okay, do it, sir. Okay, good evening, everybody. My name is Luis. My name is, I work in Suplidores Internacionales. Uh, I want to learn English because in my company is very necessary for my relationship with my, with our client and customer because okay. I to learn English. Okay. Thank you everybody. Welcome, sir, welcome. Somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay. Hello, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Luis Muñoz. I am journalist, and I would like to uh, speak English in this uh, level. Okay. Welcome. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Do it. Hello, good evening. My name is Blanca Alvarenga. I hope to learn more in class. Okay. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, do it, sir. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Christian Lasso. I work in Casco Safety El Salvador. Um, okay. I'm glad to be in a new model. Okay, thank you. Who is missing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. My name is uh, Jose Eduardo Guzman. I am work. Eh, eh, comercializadora interamericana de CADCB. Okay. Me teacher. Okay, do it. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Ember Polillo. I work in the company. Uh, nice to meet you, for everybody. Okay. Alguien falta? Hey, teacher. Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. Everybody, my name is Claudio Mendez. I live in, in Mexicana City. Um, I like this class. Okay. Hi, good evening. My name is Jenny Sanco. I work in IDECO. Okay. Somebody else? Hello, Oscar. everybody. Hello, Hello good evening. Good night, good night, good evening. My name is Oscar Betoro. I work in, in Grupo Logístico de Carga, Logistic Group Char. And I learned to English about my work. I need I need to speak, I need to work uh, English. Okay. 
Okay, what about the racist people that they don't turn on the camera, please? Necesito que todos enciendan sus cámaras, es parte del reglamento. Okay, ¿quién hace falta? Me. Alguien que levante la mano y diga, me. Me. Okay, do it. My name is Carlos Escobar. I am work with Cotegna. I live in Sonsonate. I want to know and speak English very well. Okay. Okay, okay. Somebody else? No? What about Grisel? Hi. Uh -huh, okay, Grisel. Good evening, everybody. My name is Grisel Valdez. I work in ABX. Something happens, or something happened. Uh, Algo pasó ahí. Okay, hubo alguna desconexión o algo quizá. Okay, let us start uh, with the topic. Now, please. Today we are going to talk about something that is really important for all of us. Okay, I got a question for all of you. And the question said, what do you like to buy when you go to shopping? You can see the picture that I have and I need that all of you try to think um, in the list that you uh, used to take with you uh, to the shopping. Just tell me, what do you like to buy when you go shopping? In my case, I am added to blouse and shoes. Ah, okay. That is called shopaholics. Cuando alguien es adicto a las compras. Okay. Can you repeat? Can you repeat? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. a new word. <laughs> yeah, it's a new, it's a new word for you, maybe. Yeah, shopaholics is the name, shopaholics. Thank you, teacher. Okay, the question, what do you like to buy when you go to shopping? When you go shopping? Okay, I'm going to start sharing it because I need to see your faces. Okay, just tell me. In my case, teacher, uh, lotion, perfumes. <laughs> okay, perfumes. Perfume, okay, oh. and shoes. Perfume and shoes, okay. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay. Okay, what about the rest? I like to buy technologies. Technologies, talking about cell phone, computers, or what else? Cell phone, cell phone uh, air phone. Ah, okay. What else? Uh, me, I like to buy clothing, shoes. I like it. <laughs> Okay, Blanca. What about, let me, okay, uh, in this model, we are going to switch a little bit. Vamos a ir quizá en algunos cambios. Hoy, eh, cuando ya no participe nadie así voluntariamente, voy a tener que hacerlo y ir llamando a uno por uno, porque quiero estar seguro de que todos van a participar. And I want to be sure that all of you know about the topic that we are going to talk about, please. Así que mejor háganlo voluntariamente, okay. 
siempre les va a tocar. The, the main purpose is that all of you participate in the class, and that way you are going to develop the, the language. So please, the topic is there. What about you, Christian Ernesto? What can you tell me about it? Um, I like um, I like shopping um, the clothes, shoes, technology. Um, usually, um, that that is that. Okay. Okay. What about you, Jenny? What can you tell us about? I would like to buy a, a camera, professional. Okay, professional camera, okay. Yes. Um, in this moment, only that. Only that, okay. I'm going to ask some questions about the item that you want to buy. Do you have a, a special branch or some specification for the camera that you want to buy? I don't have a, spe a specification. Ah, okay, like the color or something like that, because our topic is based on that, you know, because later on, for example, uh, Luis Alfonso said that he likes to buy a uh, lotion. Okay, the question for him could be, what kind of lotion are you looking for? I know that uh, we need to- Paco Rabanne, teacher. Okay, Paco Rabanne, okay. Okay, what else? What else you can tell me about the, the lotion? Some characteristics. Everybody, everybody teacher, uh, Paco Rabanne, Givenchy. Okay, okay. But, but, but maybe my question is uh, so meticulous. That mean that uh, you look for a specific size has to be small, has to be medium or big one. 100, 100 uh, milligrams, milligram. milligrams, okay. Ah, okay, that we are starting talking about detail and that is really important. Yes, sir. Okay, somebody said, uh, uh, Oscar, I guess that he told me uh, he liked to buy uh, gadgets about technology. What kind of item do, do you want to buy, sir? A specific. Please, I like buy the, the micro CD and, and como se diría, cobertores para el celular. Okay, case for cellulars. Case Cases for cellular. Headphone uh, inalambric. Earphone. Wireless, 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 wireless earphone. And not to, another topic for myself, for my computer, uh, when I need uh, uh, the best, the best, el mejor rendimiento, ¿cómo sería? Para obtener the, mejor rendimiento en mi computadora. Yeah, the best functions, the best word. The best word in, in my computer. Okay, they are also called Airbox, Airbox, you know, yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay, somebody else, please. Maria Elena is rising her uh, hair. Ella está levantando la mano. Okay, tell us, Maria Elena. Yeah, thank you. In my case, I love it. Go mm, shopping. But first, I am love it. Go mm, to cook coffee. The first. Okay. And then later, Maybe I love it on airport, cell phone, computer, date, motorcycle. A motorcycle too? Yes. Jesus. I love that... motorcycle. Uh, do you know how to ride a motorcycle? Yeah. Um, oh, nice. Is, uh, I am I'm from, no, Reza, como Reza. Um, desde 2013. 2013. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What about you, Grisel Valdez? What can you tell us 
about the question? Uh, my other classmate. Oh, I don't yeah. Know Grisel, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Okay, what can you tell us about the question, you, please? Okay. Can Share. you hear me? Yes. I have a problem with the audio. Yeah, but now I can hear you very well. Okay, go ahead. Tell us. Okay, um, I going to buy, I like buy clothes and books for, for writing. Okay, what else? Does it? Hello. Yeah, I'm listening to you. Okay. And maybe to buy shoes, but tennis and high heels. High heels? High heel shoes? Yes. What yes. size? What size? Talking about the, 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 the high heels. Two inches, mm. one and a half inch, you know? Uh, high heels are used for dance. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank no, you. Not really okay, okay. Omar Francisco, what about you, sir? What can you tell me about? Uh, computer. This is. Mm. Eso es lo que compro nada más. Okay, what kind of computer are you looking for now? Uh, memoria RAM, um, resolution, other. What about price? Yes. The practice. Okay, talking about price. Um, how, how much money do you have uh, um, in order to buy one? Um, five hundred dollar. Okay, for hundred dollar. Okay, nice. What about the brand? Are you looking at so in Sony Bio, Adele, a, um, a yeah, Hewlett, yeah. Hewlett Packard? I don't know. Is 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 Dell? Dell is, is my favorite. That's your favorite. Okay. What about hard drive? Que hay de disco duro, the capacity. It's, it's very important. Yeah, mm. but you have something in mind? You, you are looking for something that have a, a terabyte or more than that? A title. A terabyte. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, somebody else is missing. Somebody else is missing, please, please. I need that all of you participate, please. Uh, I meet you, sure. Okay. I like buy in Molly shoes. Okay. And eat in family. In and buy necessary eat. Articles int. Okay. Okie dokie. What about you, Ember? Hello, Ember. Hello, teacher. What can you tell us about this topic, please? Uh, I like by tools for my work. Okay. Okay, now uh, I need that you tell me uh, the name on a, of an item that you want to buy, but you are going to add some uh, feature or characteristic. Okay, tell me. For example, if you want to buy a new cell phone, okay, you are going to tell me some uh, feature or characteristic about the cell phone that you are looking for. Okay, tell me. Or maybe it's, it's, uh, you want to buy a, a car or something like that. 
but I need that you have some characteristic. In my case, teacher. Okay. In my case, the brand. In my case, the brand. The best it is Samsung for me. For okay. me, so, uh, I have a a telephone uh, Note Eight. It is it very well. Okay. Uh, the cam the camera is muy uh, buena camera. Buena definición, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Good resolution. Revolu re no, resolution. Resolution, ok, teacher. Yes, talking resolution. about pixels. How many pixels your uh, camera has? I, I, I don't know how many pixels, teacher. It's very good. <laughs> Hay que ver cuántos pixels tiene, porque debe de ser buena. Generalmente, okay. los, los Samsung son buenas cámaras. Okay, teacher, only that teacher. Okay, 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 okay. Somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Carlos Javier. Um, I would like uh, to buy a new cell phone. Okay. Uh, mm. Samsung. Okay. Uh, and craft for my son. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, tell me some feature like color. Uh, I don't know what else. Talking about internal memory or something like that. And the color and um, the black. Okay. And black. The, mem the memory. And. Um, and. Um, Como se dice gigas, 32 gigas. La palabra gigas no me acuerdo cómo se dice. It is the same gigabytes. Yes. And the property X. Okay. Okay, we have talked about different kinds of items, but uh, I'm going to show you something. Let me see what I have it. Okay, what about this one? Are you able to see it? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, in this case, for example, we can talk about basic grocery lists. Uh, you can buy make and fish. Uh, we have different uh, names of it. I don't know if you are familiar with this kind of information. And uh, we have produced onion, garlic, fruit, vegetable, thyme and dry produce like holes, like uh, red kidney beans, white beans, uh, green lentil, chopped tomatoes, soup, fruit, nuts, and seeds. I don't know if you already are familiar with this kind of name. We, we used to, to do it uh, when we go to the Grocery shopping, you know, like tuna, salmon, mackerel, long meats. We also buy pasta, rye, bread, all purpose flour, breakfast cereal, and different names. Like, uh, for example, we have oil, like cooking oil, butter. We have dairy, like eggs, uh, cheese, jugger, and so on. It's really important that you know all these names. Are you familiar with it or not? Just tell me. So, yes, when I go to the supermarket with my family, I need to buy to, to, to cross the lease. Okay. Pasta, rice, bread, pigs for cereal, uh, beans, uh, and not like white beans, onion, garlic, yep. oil, uh, every, every, every release. 
Okay. Else? Okay. Hello? Um, what is skidling? Excuse me? What is skidling? What is it? Uh, the work from um, the first line. Let me see, what is it? Ah, this one. Yes. Skinless, why means? Solo la palabra skin? skin, ¿sabe qué es la palabra skin? No. No? Piel? Yes. Y les viene a ser como sin. Entonces, ¿cómo diría? Sería carne blanca sin piel. Yes, it is. Okay. okay. Thank you. Ok, ok, ok. Ya le refresqué un poco la memoria. Ahora sí vamos a relacionarnos un poco con la guía que tenemos. Ok, based on that, that you have talked about it, we are going to work in exercise number two. In this exercise, we have eight names like size, weight, price, dimension, uh, battery life, storage, function, and, and warranty, you know? When we buy something, we need to know exactly the size, the weight, the price, the dimension, etc., and etc. Okay, you are going to match the different feature on a product with its definition, and later on, we are going to compare with the pattern. I don't know if you can see it very well. I'm going to get it bigger. Let me adjust in the screen. Okay, here we are. Okay, try to resolve it. I'm going to give you like three or four minutes in order that you can do it, please. Let it is a measurement or proportion of some kind. Promise to repair, this, replace, this, or something. Excuse me? It is size teach. Ah, oh, sorry. Is it number one? Which one? Measure or proportion of some kind. Is the number one? Is the size? Okay. Okay, try to resolve it.
Hello. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Did you finish or not? Just let me know. Okay, let us resolve now, please. Just tell me, what about number one? Number one? Hello? For me, teacher, is number one is literally eight. Measure, measure or proportion of some kind. Number two. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Number one. Number one for me is letter A. A. This one. Or proportion of this some kind. For me, is is letter F. Letter F. Yes. The body relative mass. Mm -hmm. Somebody else, please. For me, teacher is and D. Letter? And D. Letter D. Me too. Okay, bingo. So letter B. E. Okay. What about number two? Uh, Letter F. It's an I teacher. For me, teacher, letter A. Letter A. Letter A. 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 Somebody a. says something, a. something different. Por ahí oí que alguien dijo algo diferente. 
For you repeat it, please. For me, it's letter F. F. Letter? F. Okay, letter F. Letter F. Okay. What about price? What about price? Letter G. G. Okay, let me try to do it here. Okay, what about dimensions? E. So letter E. Mm. Letter A. 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 Dimension is this. Okay. What about bodily life? Let all see. A measure of bodily performance and then give it to you. Okay, bodily life is this. Okay. A starch. Little E. Letter E is this. Okay, the space available for retention or something. Okay. What about function? H. Letter H. H. Letter H. 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 This one? Yes. And the last one? What are T? Letter B. B. Letter B. Okay. Uh, let me do it. I'm going to do this. I don't want to cross right here. Okay, I'm going to do it in this way. And I'm going to do it in this way. The Pachuca. <laughs> okay. So please take a look. Take a look because I need that you'll be sure about the answers. Teacher, I have a question, please. Okay, tell me your question. Sir. In, in my case, uh, uh, in the number one size okay. and dimension, okay. for me, for me, the size is letter, letter eight. Measurement of proportion of some kind. Mm -hmm. And number uh, no, uh, number four dimension is, 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 uh, sorry, is a, uh, Letter D. Letter D. For me, for me, I yeah, por la, but... como por el concepto que no, dice, pues. Dimensions. Ah, sí, pero. Eh, el letter sí. D dice dimensions otra vez, entonces no está, de, no está definiendo dimensión. Vaya, despacio y con buena letra. El size dice que a fin overall dimension or a magnitude. ¿Ya? Overall dimension, todas las dimensiones van incluidas ahí. En cambio, el letter A is a measurement or proportion of some kinds. Entonces, dice que son las medidas o proporciones de alguna clase. Por lo tanto, estas son las dimensiones. Estamos claros. En cambio, aquí dice overall dimension. Todas las dimensiones hacen la medida. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Somebody else have a question? No? No questions? Question. Pregunten ahora, please. And we have some question here in context. Ask question to the parent. How many products does your workplace buy? And which one are they? Do you remember that? Talking about products that you need in your companies or places where you work?
in my case, teacher in my company, no, no, no boy, much uh, or how many or to how much a uh, product. You don't because, buy any. You no, don't buy any, any product. No, teacher, because I because I uh, in the company are uh, only product. Okay. Uh, are ma 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 máquinas contra el cáncer, ah. máquinas tratamiento contra el cáncer, ¿sí? Ok, 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 ok. Ok. Somebody else, please. Teacher, in my case, uh, my company, uh, I have a service. Okay. Uh, the service is the product. Okay. Well, try to keep in mind the question because I need to check up the attendance now, please. Okay, Ana Beatriz Campos is there? Yes. Uh, yes. Blanca, sure. Blanca Elizabeth. Hello. Eh, Carlos Alfredo. Present. Okay, Carlos Antonio. Present. Christian. Present. Claudio. Present. Denise Grisay. Edwin? Present. Elmer? Present. Ember? Giovanni? Elizabeth? Present teacher. Gonzalo? I'm here. Luis? Present teacher. Luis Manuel? Present teacher. Eh, Maria Elena. I am here. Okay, thank you. Um, Nelson. Nelson. Okay, it's not present. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present teacher. Jenny Sulaimi. Sulaima, perdón. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Eh, Ana Judith. It's not Present. Here. Oh, it's there, it's there, it's there, Ana Judith. Okay, Carlos Javier. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Juan Carlos. Rivas. Carla Marisol. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Teacher, no me mencionó a mí, teacher. Who is me? Who is me? <laughs> ¿A quién? ¿A quién? ¿A Carlos Antonio? Eduardo Guzmán. José Eduardo. Eduardo. Let, let me see, let me see your name. Te yeah. equivocó de grupo. Será. <laughs> Será. What's your name? Jose Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Jose Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. He's there, he's there, he's there. Walter Rauda Villalta, teacher. Present. Walter Rauda Villalta Aramis. Ahí está. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem at all. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, 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 let us talk about something. Uh, do you remember that we've been talking about different kinds of nouns? Hemos estado hablando de diferentes nombres, ¿sí? Okay, now I'll try to keep in mind. Traten de mantenerlos en mente lo que 
estuvimos hablando, ¿sí? Ok. Let me talk about this now, please. Okay, before I'm going to share with you this simple presentation, we are going to talk about counting, not counting. But first of all, we need to know exactly what is a noun. Somebody want to read for me, please? Los que más sienten sueño, por favor, participen para que se les quite el sueño. Can you repeat the question, please? Okay, I need that somebody, a volunteer, read it for me. Me teacher. No. Me teacher. Okay, do it. Nouns. Nouns are words that are used to name an animal, person, idea, place, or thing. Okay. Example. Apple. Uh, Camera, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Camera. Camera. Ship. Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. The yeah. Eiffel Tower. Okay, nouns are words that are used to name an animal, person, idea, play, or things. You see? Different. Animal, person, idea, place, or thing. Okay. And. We have something here. Let me move a little bit. Okay, we got the example that we already talked. Okay, a person, a thing, or, or animals. Yeah. Okay. Could you, could you tell me the name of this, the third one, please? Soccer player. soccer player. What about this one? Play. Family. Family. Oh. School. That's a school. A school or a school bus could be. Okay. What about this one? An office. What else? The person. Computer could be. man. Employee. Maybe a gamer. Yeah, it could be a gamer. Okay, you have different concept. We have right here. This is that. Bus school. A school bus. And this one is. Chicken. Rooster. It is called. Rooster. Rooster. Yeah, it is a rooster. Okay. Rooster. Okay. Try to keep in mind. Mantenga la mente, por favor. Let me see what's happening here. Is there the player? The player is the number of the El no era soccer or is player? Soccer player. Soccer player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, soccer player. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, and also we have a, another concept that now represent person, places, in an idea. We already talked about this. Okay. This is like a mind map. This is like a map conceptual that now refers to person, places, things, and ideas. Try to keep in mind. Manténganlo así de esa manera because later on we are going to talk about something different. We have some pictures that now could be ideas, could be animals, could be person, could be object, also places and plants. Okay, but the most important thing in this moment is that we are going to pay attention uh, not only about proper nouns and common, but also we are going to focus our attention in the type of noun that we are going to look for. For example, we have count nouns and no count nouns. Tenemos dos tipos de nombres. Tenemos nombres contables y no contables. Okay, do you remember, uh, se recuerdan todos los items that you told me? Todos los artículos que me mencionaron que le gustaría comprar. Do you remember that? Yeah. Okay, could you mention it, please? Tratemos de recordarlos. Clothes, Chú, computer, cell phone, blouse, shoes, product for hair. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. 
If I ask you to classify it, could you classify it like count and no count nouns? No. Count nouns. Count nouns. Count nouns. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it possible? Okay, let us talk about count nouns. When we talk about count nouns, we refer to seeing that you can count separately. Nos referimos a cosas que podemos contar separadamente. They can be singular and plural. Esta es una característica muy importante de los nombres contables, que ellos pueden ser singulares o plurales. Cuidado con el sueño. You can use a o an before a uh, count nouns. Podemos usar un artículo que ya puede ser a o an antes de un nombre contable. Ojo, por, póngale atención, por favor. Uh, for example, I can say night planets. Estoy dando un número, entonces sí lo puedo contar. That's an interesting, interesting question. Esa es una pregunta interesante. Ojo ahí. Uh, this is a delicious sandwich. This is a delicious sandwich. Okay, but let's go on. Take a look at the non-count nouns. Non-count noun refer to sin that you can count separately. Se refiere a cosas que no podemos contar separadamente. They usually have no plural form. We don't usually use are or an with non-count noun. So they are often preceded by son or the determiner D. Generalmente van precedidos de son o... Para los que se estaban durmiendo, creo que era. Para Eli. Ah, ok. Y we have some common mistakes. Yeah, we have some common mistakes. For example, somebody say I have a lot of homework to do. ¿Cuál es el error ahí? Dime. Maybe homework in plural. Yes. Hey. Sí, sí, porque no, no lo podemos hacer, eh, no le podemos agregar ese. No. Okay, what about the next one? She, uh, she is washing her hair. ¿Dónde está el error? Hair is the plural. Okay. And the equipment were... Uh, when I'm working, equipment. Ah, equipment. Okay. But let us see. For example, you say, can you? Uh, you say I bought the rice. Yeah. Or let me give you some advice. Usted dice yo compro arroz, compré arroz. Yeah. Así de fácil. Oh, let me give you some advice. Okay, póngale atención, por favor. Be careful. Many words have both count and no count meanings. And you need to check up your dictionary to avoid mistakes when you are going to apply it. But also, for example, she heard noise in the attics. She heard a noise. Ella escuchó un ruido. In the Latin. Noise can be hurtful to health. El ruido puede ser dañino para la salud. Okay. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre ambas oraciones? A noise, teacher, a noise is warm. Es un ruido, ok. Y en cambio el otro dice, noise can be helpful to health. Entonces ahí cumple que uno está siendo contable y el otro está siendo no contable. Okay. The noise can be. Excuse me? The noise, the noise can be harmful or to health is not contable. Yes. And the previous one, a noise is a uh, count noun. 
but we need to take care about this. We normally use the singular verb with a non cam noun. Normalmente usamos un verbo singular con un nombre no contable. Por ejemplo, we can say rice feeds millions. Yeah, entendemos ese ejemplo, right? No. What is the meaning of feed? The word feed. Mm -hmm. Alimentar. El arroz alimenta millones de personas. Mm, it's incomplete. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the oración. We, we use a singular pronoun to refer to the nouns. For example, we can say it feeds millions. And we're talking about the same word, rice, okay? Okay, but when we talk about nouns, uh, when we are talking about medical condition like cancer, AIDS, like typhoid or syphilis, they are not count nouns. Porque no, 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 no podemos precisar la cantidad. Okay, when we talk about scientific process or procedure, like uh, anesthesia, dissection, electric shock, and something like that. Like a whole composed of individual part, like mail, clothing, garbage, baggage, or jewelry also. Mail. Are you there? And also we have a, a abstractions like honesty, law, hate, education, beauty, mayhood. Are you familiar with the names or not? Just tell me. Just tell me, please. Mayhood, please. Okay, that word, the, the ending of the word hood is like a neighborhood, childhood. What about, what about uh, mayhood? What is that? What is mayhood? Mayhood is like a, an unmarried woman. Bukama. No. No, in that case. Mayhood. Mm, because it's a beauty. Excuse me? Ya les di un ejemplo, dos ejemplos les di de cómo se usa la terminación hood. Por ejemplo, dice neighborhood, mi vecindario, childhood, la niñez, y mayhood, what is that? Es que yo lo busqué en el traductor y ni en español tiene sentido la palabra. <ríe> yeah. Me es sirvienta. Es mucama, yeah. teacher. Ah, mucama, dice allí. Yo no sé ni qué es mucama. Yeah, la but, mucama but, but. es la que me atiende en el hotel. <ríe> oh, yo nunca he ido a un hotel. Y <ríe> por eso. No, but the word mayhood, mayhood. What is mayhood? You need to look in the dictionary. What is the main of the main hood? La soltería, la soltería. You know? El hecho de estar joven y sin compromisos is like a main hood. Uh... Okay, also we have activities like basketball, dancing, tennis, soccer. Yeah, amazing. Yes? 
And also we have food like beef, bread, fish, fruit, meats, like gases like air, carbon dioxide, oxygen, smoke. Todos estos son qué? Son oh, uncomfortable. Okay. No, and also we have liquids like coffee, gasoline, milk, tea, water. Todo lo que son líquidos. Like, like a na natural phenomena, like snow, heat, rain, thunder. Teacher, what is the meaning of the thun thunder? Thunder is this picture. Wow. Do, you, do you remember the cartoon, uh, Los Thundercats? Sí, yes. Yeah, and do you remember how, I don't know what is the name of the main character. No me recuerdo cómo es que se llamaba León, no, no sé, uno que salía con espada, ¿sí? Mm. Y decía, Thunder, 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 Cap. Ah, entonces eso oh. es. Thunder. Bueno. Rayo. Ya sé. Ya, ya se, se mezclaron los conceptos. No, es trueno. Los felinos cósmicos. <ríe> ok, thunder es trueno. Es trueno. Ok, ok, ok. okay yeah. Es el sonido. Uh, yeah, the sounds. Mm. And, and also we have particles like gas, pepper, salt, sand, sugar. Todo lo que son partículas son no contables, como el polvo, pepper, salt, sand, sugar. Ok. And, and also some solid elements like wool, iron, plutonium, silver. Okay. And also subjects like Chinese, English, basic, science. And other like equipment, furniture, money, money, news. We frequently make no count nouns, kind of by adding a phrase that gives them a form, a limit, or a container. Okay, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Okay, for example, at the left, I have a no count. And at the right, I have Cannibal nouns. Póngame la atención, por favor, a esto. A la izquierda tenemos nombres no contables, pero les hemos agregado algo antes y los convertimos en contables. Por ejemplo, dice furniture y luego dice a piece of furniture. Una pieza. What about lining? A bowl, a flash of lining. We have meats. A piece of meat. We have rice, a grain of rice. Tennis, a game of tennis. Thunder, a clap of thunder. Comprende cómo cambia, pero tenemos que agregarle siempre una frase antes. I have a question. Okay, tell me your question. In the last sentence, uh, a clap of thunder. What is the meaning in Spanish? Mm. A thunder is a trueno, but a clap of thunder. Let me see how can I explain this example. Because first of all, uh, you need to be clear what is the meaning of the word clap. Yeah. Do you refer to the to the sounds? But how can I get into expands? Let me see. Mm, when, when you hear a, a thunder, cuando usted oye un trueno, generalmente eh, siempre hay un sonido un poco que agudo, ¿sí? Por decirlo así, un sonido agudo. Uh, okay. un, ruido, un ruido seco. ¿Sí? A eso se refiere okay. el, cla el clap of thunder. No, sé si, no sé si me comprende lo que le quiero decir. Porque yes. general, generalmente uh, 
la palabra clap incluso quizás la conocemos como aplaudir, ¿sí? Yes. Pero, pero también a clap of thunder es como un trueno ruidoso, ¿no? Ah, ok. 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 Ok, for example, we have no count of water. Y para hacerlo contable, yo digo a cup of water. Pero al final lo que estoy contando es a cup. ¿De qué? Of water. We have milk. I got juice. I can say a carton of juice. Or milk. Uh, for example, we talk about letters. And I can say a head of letters. We can say banana, and also we can say a bunch of bananas. I can talk about butter, and, but I can say a piece, a stick or bar of butter. Vea cómo, cómo hace el cambio. Por ejemplo, I have chocolate, es, es un nombre no contable, pero si yo digo a bar of chocolate, entonces estoy contando una barra, ¿sí? I got margarine, a tube of margarine, bread, a loaf, a slice of bread. The beer, the beer teacher is not counting. This one. Estos son, no, estos son los no contables. Los de la izquierda. Y ya a la derecha les hemos agregado algo para hacerlos contables. Pero solo la palabra chocolate es no contable. O sea, no podemos contabilizar la palabra esa. En cambio, una barra de chocolate sí, la podemos contar. ¿Se comprende? Yes, teacher. Ok, thank you, sir. Ok. And also we have sugar, a lump of sugar, garlic, the clove of cardio. Solo la palabra ajo es no contable. Si ya decimos diente de ajo, entonces sí estamos hablando de algo contable. Ok. And also we use many noun count nouns in a countable sense without the addition of a phrase, which is a piece of. Algunas veces usamos muchos uh, nombres no contables en un sentido contable, sin la adición de una frase como una pieza de And also we can use this noun with a or an or in the plural to mean kind, type, or variety of. También podemos usar los nombres con, usando a o an en el plural que significa la clase, el tipo o la variedad de. Ejemplo, do you like pasta? In Italy, I stay a new pasta. En Italia. Yo saboreé una nueva pasta. ¿Sí? ¿Se comprende? Sí, se comprende. Ok. Uh, an and an and plural can yeah. also be used to indicate discrete amounts. I drank a soda. Usted dice, I drank a soda. Please bring, bring us two orange juice. Ok. ¿Alguien quería decir algo, por favor? Me, teacher. Okay. Do you have a question? Yes. Okay, tell me. Eh, bueno, más que pregunta, quizás solamente para como comprender bien las instrucciones que está dando, es okay. que para los nombres no contables sea contable, tenemos que agregarle un tipo de frase, oración, para poder que, para que sea contable ese, ese nombre. Sí, eso es precisamente lo que estaba explicando. En el caso, por ejemplo, de la palabra chocolate, ella es no contable, pero si queremos hacerlo contable, decimos una barra de chocolate, ¿sí? Una taza de chocolate. A eso me refiero. Ok, perfecto. Excelente. 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 Bueno, creo que hay muchos ejemplos. Uh, hay algunos nombres que son irregulares. If you now count now, And in S like news, algunos terminan en, en, en por ejemplo, news, noticias, mathematics, economics, physics. Ahí tenemos que tener el cuidado porque eh, 
no es que ellos ya sean como se llama, que los estemos haciendo plurales, sino que ya ellos se escriben así, matematics, news, economics, etc. Ok. Eh, a few count nouns have irregular plural. Por ejemplo, algunos tienen eh, plurales irregulares. Por ejemplo, decimos criterion y singular, and the plural is criteria. In singular, for example, there is a phenomenon, but if you are going to talk about plural, you are going to say phenomena. If you are going to talk about singular, nucleus, nuclei is in plural. Later on, I'm going to share the slides. Voy a compartirles luego la presentación para que les quede ahí. Y así la puedan eh, ver. Hay mucha información ahí. Creo que en esa parte, ah, no sé si tengan alguna duda respecto a los contables y no contables. Algunos creo que quizás se me estaban hasta durmiendo así. Ok, en general, way. Ok, no, tell me. How we are going to identify? ¿Cómo vamos a hacer para identificar los contables y no contables? The plural is contable and singular is no contable. Ah, ok, ok. Por ahí vamos, ok. Son varias. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, two apples, three apples is contable. Uh, okay, okay. Or but, yeah, but you are but you are adding something previous. Pero está agregándole algo antes para hacerlo contable, porque si solo menciona. Ya, yeah, pero si solo menciona manzana. Mm, is, is not contable, is fruit. Okay, we are talking about fruit. Okay. Yes. Okay, excellent. Somebody else? Alguien más quiera mencionar algo? Tell me. Para diferenciar eh, los contables de los no contables son aquellos que no se pueden calcular específicamente un número exacto como arroz, eh, dinero. Oh, okay, okay. Sí, ¿qué más? But the money is different. In in money money is no contable, but is moneda. How do you say moneda? Currency. Currency is contable. Mm. Depend. You can money, contable. Money, money, yeah, money, yeah, yeah, money. Store, or store. I know why you are talking about it. You can count, but but you can count uh, what you have in your pocket. But what about what I have in my pockets? O sea, la moneda, o sea, moneda, o sea, billete, siempre estamos hablando de money. Siempre, siempre estamos hablando de dinero, ¿no? Entonces tenemos que tener ahí un poco de, de cuidado en eso. Pero es lo que usted está... está eso son, esos son, esos son nombres abstractos. Teacher, pero es, es lo mismo que usted está explicando. Explicando hay que le que tengo. No se, hay cosas que no se cuentan, pero hay que agregarles algo para hacerlas ah, no contables. Ah, exactamente. Entonces, lo mismo sucede con el dinero. Money es sí. money, pero si usted va a contar billetes o va a contar monedas, esas sí las puede contar. Sí, pero ahí va a especificar usted y dice, I have a $200 ahí sí. Pero generalmente la palabra ella solita siempre va a ser no contable. Ajá, pues sí. Perfecto. Ok. ¿Alguien más? Teacher, cuando utilizamos también el how many. Ah, how ahí está. Ahí está el punto donde... Yo no quería llegar todavía hasta ahí porque es la otra parte que digo. Ah, perdón, dice, me retracto. No, 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 go ahead, sir, go ahead. De, 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 no, ahorita, sí, ahorita, sí, ahorita. Sí. Yeah, ok, go ahead. Let, let us do it now. Démosle ya. When are we are going to use how much and when we are going to use how many? How many is... 
is plural and how much is singular. Okay, give me an example, please. Um, how many? <laughs> I don't remember, teacher. Espera, deje que me llegue Wi-Fi. But, um, I know, teacher, se me ha olvidado. Solo uno. No more than one. How, um, teacher, yo, me, me. how much sugar in the milk? Ah, okay, por ahí vamos. What else? Mm. How many chicken mm. there, there are? Uh -huh. What else? Teacher, for me, how much is used for no contact? Okay, 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 okay. And how many in use the contact? Okay. Okay, Mas. I have an apple for dessert. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat that, please? I have an apple for dessert. Okay, comprenden el, eh, la oración que está diciendo? No, teacher, me. No. Me una manzana en el postre. I have an apple for dessert. I had an apple for dessert, okay. I had an apple for dessert. Okay. Okay. Um, if you remember, uh, we were we start talking about different items. Comenzamos a hablar de diferentes artículos. If I ask you, uh, how many lotion do you have? How many lotion do you have? What is the answer? What is the menu, teacher, what is the menu of the lotion? Rue the lotion, the perfume. I have five lotion teacher. I have <laughs> I have only one in the use and two or before. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do you remember? Uh somebody somebody told me that was interested to buy a new computer. How many computers do you have, sir? And I ask a question, how much money do you have in order to buy a new cell phone? Okay, I need that you focus your attention in asking questions using uh, how much and how many. You can ask questions each other. Pueden hacerse preguntas, ustedes pueden uh, dirigirse a cualquier persona de, de los que están en el grupo usa, usando ya sea, ten, tengamos cuidado, si vamos a usar un nombre que sea contable, vamos a usar how many, si es no contable, vamos a usar how much, ok. Puedes repetir eso último, teacher, por favor. Ok, otra vez. Se van a hacer preguntas unos a otros y vamos a usar la palabra how many con palabras contables y vamos a hacer uso de how much con palabras no contables. I have a question to Elizabeth. Ok, Elizabeth, wake up Elizabeth. <laughs> yes. Ellie, how many boyfriends? Do you have? <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> ah, it's what a did secret. You, what did you answer? It's a secret, don't we? <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> In you? How many? I, 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 I have only one. 
Yeah. I have only only wife. You don't remember, maybe. <laughs> Ah, uh -huh. yeah, the detalle. Okay, somebody else. I, I have a question. I have a question to Grisel. Okay. Tell me. Grisel, how how much how much? Ahí se me perdió porque yo dije how much the cost of your phone. Está bien, teacher. How much? The cost your phone. Oh, could say that. Uh, how much do you pay for your phone? Okay. Lo que dijo el teacher. How much do you pay for your phone? <laughs> Lo que dijo el teacher. <laughs> okay. I I paid a uh, two hundred dollars for iPhone. Wow. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Grisel. Somebody else. For this and work. Somebody else, somebody else. Somebody else, please, somebody else. A los que están dormidos. Sure. Okay. A los que están durmiendo, por favor. Okay, tell me, tell me, Maria tell, Elena. Tell me, sir, tell me, sir. Maria Elena. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, how many pay or shoes do you have? I don't know. This question is very hard. Many. <laughs> 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 Hello. Um, Christian Ernesto. Ah, okay. Christian yes. Ernesto is there. Tell me. How many cups of chocolate are you going to have? You're going to repeat, please. How many cups of chocolate are you going to have? Ah, uh, uh, how many cups of chocolate are you going to drink? Uh, to drink. Yeah, uh, yeah, to drink. Okay, uh, usually uh, two cups uh, of the day. Only two? Two cups. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent. Okay, somebody else. Me for Gonzalo. Okay, Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Okay. Go how ahead. much? How much pollution in the uh, Citala? Say again, please. <laughs> how, how much pollution is there in Citala? Aha, I got you, I got you. In Chalatenango. How Desconozco una palabra. Pollution. <laughs> es contaminación. 
¿Cuánta ah, contaminación hay en, en Citalab? I think a little bit. Yes. Uh -huh. Just the just the some people. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Que tiran las aguas negras al río Lempa. Uh -huh. Some people, uh -huh. Okay, but the answer ha has to be uh, like uh, very simple. What could be the answer? No sé cómo se dice, tirar las aguas negras al río, no sé. Yeah, no, for that reason, I'm telling you this. Sí, por el, pero el que, él le pregunta que cuánta contaminación hay en Citalá. And you answer, you, your answer is right, because you say uh, just a little. Yeah, and, and you can talk about water, for example. You already answered the question. No sé cómo se puede contar la contaminación, no sé. No sé cómo puedo contar una cantidad de humo que sí, la solo, gente haga, no sé. Sí, no, lo que le estaba diciendo es que usted ya respondió la pregunta. Usted le dijo que había poca. O sea, la contaminación usted la puede contabilizar diciendo que no hay, que hay poca, que hay mucha. Esos serían lo, lo, los cuantificadores. Comprendió. Hola. Hola. But if you want to be very uh, specific. You can say, uh, okay, in Citala, there are a lot of pollution because uh, cause of the road sewer water in the river, for example. Let me put it in the chat of words that you are looking for. Is there? Ahí le puse la palabra que busca. Okay, alguien más? Otra pregunta, por favor. Me teacher. Okay. Mm, for pero me quiero ver los nombres por Blanca Blanca Elizabeth Blanca Elizabeth sí. How many students are in the classroom? In the classroom virtual online um, um, Una vez, ¿Cuál es la respuesta? 
Blanca, only an, a number, whatever number. One. Okay, it could be one, two, they yeah, all depend. In this case, we have uh, like, uh, let me see, 22 people here. But what about if you, if you need uh, sugar, how you are going to, how you are going to tell? If, imagine that you go to a restaurant and you need to add sugar to your coffee. How you are going to say? How much sugar? Do you want it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how much sugar do you want on it? That would be the, the question. And the answer could be, ¿Cómo podría ser la respuesta? Si son cucharadas, you are going to say, okay. No, no me recuerdo cómo se dice cucharadas, pero podría yeah, ser uno. Spoon, spoon. 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 Two, two spoon, please. Ah, okay. Ok. Bueno, creo que se me están durmiendo dos que tres por ahí. Ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Ok, let us try to see this exercise that I have here. I don't know if you are able to see it. ¿Pueden verlo? ¿Sí? Yes. Ok, check a look at this. Aquí está más claro para, para, para los que se me están durmiendo. We we'll talk about count nouns. Cuando hablamos de nombres contables, ellos tienen singular y plural. Por ejemplo, a book o one book. And also we can say books, two books, some books, a lot of books, many books, a few books. Estos son cuantificadores. Son, a lot of, many, a few. ¿Se comprende? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. And, and also, we, when we talk about count noun, we can say singular, we can use a plus noun or one plus noun. Podemos usar uh, un artículo que en este caso podría ser a an or the number one. And also plural nouns are going to add s. Los nombres plurales van a, a algunas veces van a, a sumar s o es, esas reglas ya las creo. En los no contables, por ejemplo, tenemos money, some money, a lot of money, much money, a little money. También tenemos algunos cuantificadores, mucho dinero, ¿sí? poco dinero, etc. Entonces, en los no contables, miren, no podemos usar una A, no podemos usar one. Y tampoco en a uh, non count noun does not have a plural form. No podemos hacer plurales de ellos. Eso debemos de tenerlo muy, pero muy claro. Y ahí tenemos algunos nombres comunes, por ejemplo, como advice, furniture, health, homework, information, jewelry, luck, mail, money, music, peace, traffic, weather, work. Bread, cheese, coffee, food, fruit, meal, a meat, meal, pepper, rice, salt, soup, sugar, tea, and water. Esos son como algunos eh, comunes que eso se los presenté en, el, en la, en, en la the PowerPoint. Ahora lo que me interesa es que hagamos este ejercicio rapidito ahí, así habladito, habladito. Okay, look at that. It all is words and underline the nouns. Is the noun count or no counts? Vea la palabra que está en italics, que en este caso eh, son las que están uh, así como estas, son las italics. And you are going to choose if, si, si va a elegir si son contables o no contables. Por ejemplo, dice, she has a coin. Ella tiene una moneda. Contable. Okay. Con. Okay. Con. She has some money. No es contable. No, no, no. Ah, okay. 
she has some letters. No contact. No, no contact. contact. No come. Mm -hmm. She has some many... Let it, teacher, let it, no come. No. It is come we need to we use need a to, plural. Yeah, we need to be careful about this. That is true. Tenemos que tener mucho cuidado porque ya dijimos que los contables pueden tener plurales. Y ya lo mencionamos arriba. Pero ustedes se fueron porque dice son. Y eso es lo que vemos ya en los ejercicios prácticos. Ya nos vamos a regresar okay. para ver. Ok, number six. Con. She has some mail. What is that? No count. The street is full of traffic. No count. No count. No count. There are a lot of cars in the street. Count. count. Don't come. Okay, okay. Por qué? Because they have depend the plural, the cars. <laughs> okay, I know a fact about bees. Countable or count. countable? Countable. Why? Count. 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 Because we have an article here. Hey. Hey. I have some information about this. No come. No come. No count. No count. No count. No count. The teacher give us homework. No come. Ah, okay. Sorry, but I don't know what is the meaning of bees. Bees. Mm -hmm. Abejas. Ah, okay. Thanks. Okay, casi se me duermen, casi se me duermen. Okay. Hagamos el último, hagamos el último. <laughs> okay, hagamos el último. We have an assignment. What is Nelly, that? enciendo la cámara. Ah, ah, Ahorita bien. mismo. <laughs> Assignments. Is count. It's count. Because use N. Okay. What about the next one? Is come teacher. I'm a sing assignment. Okay. Well, I'm going to share with you the information. I know that it's late now. Uh, we talk about counts and no count nouns. Uh, the activity for tomorrow is going to be uh, related to this topic. I invite you to enter in the platform tomorrow because you need to start doing your homework, please. Traten de hacer todas las actividades. No dejen que se les vayan acumulando. Antes de eso, uh, quiero mencionarles el orden que van a llevar de su, de su tiempo de los 10 minutos. El día de hoy voy a iniciar con Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Y para el día de mañana sería Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Así es que ya de una vez deben de irse programando con sus 10 minutos. No los voy a leer completos todos porque ah, al final ya la otra semana se les ha olvidado o se hacen y dicen, no, no es a mí que me toca. Ok. Y por ahí les presenté eh, al inicio... Algo donde dice que no hay permisos. Así es que... Ah, así es que por pero, favor. Sí, pero sí se puede pedir perdón, ¿verdad, Ticho? Sí, sí, tomado. Se puede sí, pedir. Sí, Luis, 70 veces 7. Ah, ok. Veamos la lista antes de que se me duerman, entonces. I know it's really hard. Sometime. Okay, let me see the attendance I have here. Okay, let me see. Okay, veamos Ana Beatriz. Present. Blanca. Present. Teacher. Carlos Alfredo. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Eh, Christian. Present. Claudio. Present, teacher. Denise. Present. 
Edwin. Me puede responder. Present teacher. Elmer. Elmer. Ember. Giovanni. Se durmió. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Gonzalo. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. Present teacher. Luis Manuel. Present teacher. Mari María Elena. María Elena. Son no I'm sorry, I'm here. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Nelson. Nelson Merino. Lo llamé tres veces. No apareció. Ok. Omar Francisco. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Present. Let me see what happened here. Okay. Hey, Walter. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Present. Ana Judith. Hello, Ana Judith. Carlos Javier. Present teacher. José Eduardo. I hear teacher. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos a la una. No está. Carla Marisol Escobar. Carla Marisol. Se durmió también. Ok, se durmió. Se durmió. Ok, thank you. Uh, I only, uh, I need to talk with Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Thank you very much. Um, it was a pleasure to be here with you. I don't know if you have uh, any questions apart from here or any comment that you want to do it now. No sé si tienen algún comentario o pregunta hasta ahorita, antes de que nos vayamos. Hablen ahora. Hablen ahora. Ah, nadie quiere hablar entonces. Ok. O calle para siempre, teacher. No, pues yo no terminé de decir la frase porque se sobreentiende, ¿no? <risa> ok, nadie quiere decir nada, ok. Todos están no cansados. Question. No question. Yes. No. Ok, de seguro su, su... No, no question. Sí. Teacher, teacher. Okay, estamos. En, en relación al manual. Ah, okay, el, manual manual. Que está, el que está en la plataforma, ¿ese se va a utilizar o el que usted estaba presentando de las diapositivas? Eh, bueno, en el grupo se les envió incluso eh, el manual, que es el, el mismo que yo tengo. Solo que yo estaba viendo de que usted estaba presentando unas que estaban en Word. Ah, no, 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 no. Le explico. Esos son materiales extra que yo utilizo para, okay. para, para aclarar este, algunas, algunas cosas. Y eh, hablando de eso, le voy a pedir como homework que me trabaje en la página 6, eh, perdón, la página 10, donde está muy explicado eh, el uso de how much and how many. Ahí aparecen algunos uh, ejemplos y aparece eh, el ejercicio 5. Entonces les pido que por favor lo resuelvan eh, despacio en sus casas. Después de leer eh, cómo se llama los, eh, eh, los conceptos que aparecen ahí. Pero de ahí el manual es el mismo. Lo que sí que a veces eh, para ampliar la información tengo que utilizar otros recursos. Okay, algo otras acti actividades extra porque si fuese necesario solo con lo que tenemos ahí pues no habría necesidad de, de utilizar otras cosas ok, ya no les quito más tiempo, sé que su camita les está llamando ya, les dice ok, ven, ven, ven ya yeah. 
Okay, okay I, teacher. I, thank I, you. Hope, I hope to Thanks. see you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you see later. Bye. 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 No veo, no veo a quien Alfredo, Pablo Alfredo, Portillo, Carlos Alfredo Portillo. Okay. La persona que a la quien le correspondía el día de hoy, pues estaba ahí presente. Se le repetí varias veces, pero ah, pues no sé realmente que si por accidente eh, se salió de la plataforma o qué pudo haber sucedido. Pedirles que cualquier duda referente al tema que ya vimos, eh, pues estamos ahí prestos para para poder explicarles y es importante que les quede muy claro el tema que vimos el día de hoy y para ello eh, voy a compartir con ustedes esta diapositiva donde aparecen las características principales. Por ejemplo, dice que countable nouns can be counted with numbers. Los nombres contables pueden contarse con números. En cambio, los uncountable nouns cannot be counted with numbers. Los no contables no se pueden contar con números. Eh, no de feature is that countable nouns can take both singular and plural form. And uncountable nouns stay the singular form only. We need to be uh, really careful about this. Los contables, ambos pueden uh, ser singulares y plurales. ¿Sí? Y los no contables toman solamente la forma singular. Uh, cannibal nouns can be made plurals. Los nombres contables pueden ser plurales. Uncountable nouns cannot be general made plurals. Los nombres no contables no pueden generalmente hacerse plurales. Cannibal nouns use the, the interrogative expression how many. Los nombres contables usan la forma interrogativa de how many. Y los no contables usan la forma interrogativa o la expresión how much. Ok, creo que esta eh, diapositiva les va a ayudar mucho al momento de hacer algún ejercicio relacionado a eso y que tengan algún duda. Ok, bueno. I hope that you understand exactly what I said and you can use the video, you can watch it uh, and that way you are going to increase your, your knowledge. That's all for today. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your attention. Bye.